The San Antonio consultant is working to help Bell County address its growing homelessness issues. Dr. Robert Marba has been studying homeless trends in the area since April and now has a preliminary report available for us. Six News reporter Andrew Moore tells us how this could keep the county from having the same situation as we are now seeing all over Austin. Andrew, what did you learn? The cities of Temple and Killeen hired Marba Consulting back in April on a joint project to address homelessness, and the report says 57% of the area's homeless actually don't have a connection to the county. So we talked to Dr. Marba today about finding what's driving this homelessness issue. On the west side, what we're seeing is everything is really being driven by Fort Hood. Dr. Robert Marbot says Bell County has two major issues growing its homeless population. And in the Killeen area, it's people coming off Fort Hood. That includes veterans who may have PTSD issues, but it also includes another group, divorced spouses of veterans and older teenagers who don't want to move with their military family. This other group literally leaves the main gate, generally has enough money to get a short-term uh, hotel and then they run out of money while they're at the hotel. Back on the Temple side, it's a different story. Marbot says transient homeless are finding their way up and down I-35 and decide to stay put. But they intend to go to Austin and they stop and don't leave. The other group gets to Austin, then leaves Austin and stops on their way out of Austin. Marbot says each area will need tailored solutions to address homelessness, but there are also some countywide solutions. First, he says drivers should stop giving out money to panhandlers. It doesn't go for what people are putting on their signs. It, 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 it really goes for the alcoholism the substance use disorder and prostitution. Marbot says there are places in Temple and Colleen to get food every day, and these individuals have been around long enough to know about them. The second solution, he says, county resources need to be better integrated so organizations can get homeless to those resources faster. We have to have really thorough integration, collaboration, and sort of co-management of the entire system. And Marbot told us he expects to have those tailored solutions ready in about 70 days. He says the county is in a good place to address the homelessness issue, though it does also have a lot of chronic homelessness, so that is going to be a challenge. Chris? Yeah, curious to learn his findings and see what he reports and publishes. Thank you so much, Andrew Moore, live in studio.